What's up guys, Josh Blunt here and welcome to my channel. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. We have all been led to believe that the person with the biggest muscles is also the person that is the strongest. Now there is some truth to this. You can obviously not build muscle without building strength along with it, but there are ways that you can improve one over the other. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to build strength and not only that, but how to build size. They are two different training styles. With that being said, let's dive in. Now, obviously, depending on your goals, you're gonna wanna choose. Are you looking for strength? Are you looking for size? In the very beginning, you're gonna be building both. As a beginner, you're gonna be increasing your strength and you're gonna be increasing your size as well. But eventually, when you become a little bit more advanced, you're gonna wanna choose. Are you looking for overall strength to be a power lifter or just to be strong? Are you looking for size, whether you're looking for a better physique or maybe even to be a bodybuilder? Because the training styles are a little bit different. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some similarities as well. The exercises that you're gonna be doing do not have to change, as well as the equipment that you're gonna be using. That can all be relatively the same. What's gonna change is the amount of sets and reps that you're doing for each exercise or your training volume, as well as the weight that you're gonna be using, which is a very important part, or your training intensity and the amount of rest that you take. So the amount of rest that you take in between each set for recovery. For an example, if you're training for hypertrophy or size, your sets and your reps are gonna be a lot higher than if you're training for strength. For an example, your reps are gonna be in between eight to 20 reps if you're training for size with three to five sets per exercise. Your rest time is gonna be in between one to three minutes after each set, depending on the recovery time that you need. That's where you need to listen to your body. Uh, as far as your training intensity, that's gonna be lower in weight compared to strength, obviously. So what we're looking at is about 70 to 80% of a one rep max. If you don't know what your one rep max is, just choose a weight, pump out as many reps as you can, raise the weight until you can only do one rep. That's gonna be your one rep max for that exercise. Now do 70 to 80% of that weight. That's gonna put you in that eight to 12 to 15 rep range that you're looking for. Now when it comes to strength training, it's gonna be almost the opposite your sets and your reps or your training volume is going to be a lot lower so you're looking at about one to six reps per exercise with about two to four sets for that exercise as far as the rest time in between sets we're about three to five minutes in between each set. So obviously you're gonna need a lot more recovery time in between each exercise if you're pushing more weight. And as far as your training intensity, you're gonna be lifting a lot more weight. So you're looking at about 80 to 90% of a one rep max. Again, try to figure out what that one rep max is. What weight can you do only one rep of? Whatever that is, do 80 to 90% of that weight and that's gonna put you in that one to six rep range. So as you can see, the exercises that you're gonna be doing can be the same. The equipment that you're gonna be using can also be the same. What it's really gonna boil down to is your training volume. So what are the sets and reps that you're doing for each exercise as well as your training intensity? How much weight are you lifting for each exercise and your rest time in between sets? If you're lifting more weight, you're gonna need more recovery time. So it's really based on your individual goals. Whatever your goals are, it's not just important to improve on the muscle fibers of the body, but it's also important to improve the tendons and ligaments or the soft tissues, as well as the bones and the joints as well. These are the foundations of your success. Now, building strength and size is basically a response to the stress that you're putting on your body through training. So based on your individual goals, you're gonna to need to modify this stress with a specialized training program specific for your goals, and your body will react to that. Now, whether you're training for strength or maybe you're training for size, it really doesn't matter if you're training properly, it's gonna have its benefits. It's gonna have its rewards. But training itself does come with some risks as well and injuries are some of the most common things. So maybe you're lifting too fast with poor form or maybe you're lifting too heavy thinking you can do more than you can. All of this is gonna increase the risk of injury. So it's important to leave your ego at the door. Don't believe you can do more than you can. Start in a place that makes sense for you and your fitness level. And that's where warming up comes into play. Without warming up, there is a chance that you're gonna go beyond a full range of motion and possibly pull or even tear a muscle. And that's why, at least for me, mobility exercises are very important because it allows me to go through the four ends of motion, focus on my form, and focusing on your form is gonna allow you to target the specific muscle and maximize its growth properly, but it also reduces the risk of injury. Another rookie mistake is holding your breath during your sets. I see this all the time and it's understandable. It's hard to focus on breathing when you're lifting a ton of weight, I completely understand. But holding your breath during your sets or during your reps is gonna cause a high blood pressure which could cause a hernia. This is not fun, it's extremely painful. I'm sure most of you have heard of that. And by breathing during your exercise, you're gonna be increasing oxidation through your muscles. And that's what our body needs to burn calories 
for its fuel. And another very common mistake, especially as a beginner, is not resting in between your workouts. I see this all the time, especially as a beginner, your body isn't used to going through that kind of stress, so it needs its recovery time. It needs to recover so it can grow stronger, therefore you can use that strength and that size in the gym next time. But without that proper recovery, you're only increasing the risk of injury. And not only that, during your next workout, you're not gonna have the same level of intensity. You're not gonna have the same level of volume that you did before because you're gonna be sore, right? You're gonna be more exhausted, your muscles are gonna be exhausted, and you're increasing the risk of injury. So it's important to listen to your body, rest as you need that, and in order to do that, you have to leave your ego at the door. In the beginning, it's gonna take more time. You need to get into the gym, listen to your body. If you're sore, take the day off, or at least don't work out the same muscle group. So make sure you listen to your body, leave your ego at the door, and take the rest as you need it. And with that being said, the choice is obviously yours. As long as you're working on your form, you're taking precautions, you're playing it safe, you're listening to your body, progressive overload. As long as you're getting better over time, then whether you're training for strength or if you're training for a size, they both have massive benefits. So if you are looking for size, make sure you're increasing the volume or the sets and reps for each exercise. Make sure that you're giving a moderate amount of weight or training intensity and shorten your rest time in between sets. If you're looking for strength, make sure you're decreasing your volume. So doing less sets and reps for each exercise while increasing your training intensity or the weight that you're using and adding a little bit more time of rest in between each set. All right, guys, that is a brief overview of training for strength versus training for hypertrophy. I hope this video brought some value to you. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out those free eBooks that I have linked in the description box down below. I do appreciate your support. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section and I will see you guys on the next video.